Hello friends, welcome to today's Daily Devotion. It's Friday and all this week we have been looking at this big question, what is the church? And finding bigger answers and there's no bigger, better answer than what Paul writes in 1 Corinthians chapter 12. We started the week in Ephesians 4 where Jesus is described as being the head of the church, the body, and here in 1 Corinthians 12, we see that same description, that same metaphor being described. Hear now these words, 1 Corinthians 12, 12 through 27. Hear now these words. Just as a body, though one, has many parts, But all its many parts form one body, so it is with Christ. For we were baptized by one Spirit so as to form one body. Whether Jews or Gentiles, slave or free, and we were all given the one Spirit to drink. Even so, the body is not made up of one part, but many. Now. If the foot should say, because I am not a hand, I do not belong to the body, it would not for that reason stop being part of the body. And if the ear should say, because I'm not an eye, I do not belong to the body, it would not for that reason stop being part of the body. If the whole body were an eye, where would the sense of hearing be? If the whole body were an ear, where would the sense of smell be? But in fact, God has placed the parts of the body, every one of them, just as he wanted them to be. If they were all one part, where would the body be? As it is, there are many parts, but one body. The eye cannot say to the hand, I don't need you. And the head cannot say to the feet, I don't need you. On the contrary, those parts of the body that seem to be weaker (laughs) are indispensable. And the parts that we think are less honorable, we treat with special honor. And the parts that are unpresentable are treated with special modesty, while our presentable parts need no special treatment. But God has put the body together, giving greater honor to the parts that lacked it. So there should be no division in the body, but that its parts should have equal concern for each other. If one part suffers, every part suffers with it. If one part is honored, every part rejoices with it. Now you are the body of Christ, and each one of you is a part of of it. What is church? The church is a body made up of many, many, many parts. And I need to go do some Google research to figure out the answer to this question, but how many cells exist in a typical human body? A million? A billion? A trillion? I don't know. As soon as I finish this video, I may go look it up. But here's the thing. You, if you are made up of billions or even trillions of individual cells, you still are just one person. I am still just one person. And what is an amazing thing is that in the miracle of procreation, One cell from the daddy and one cell from the mama unite and they eventually become the billions and trillions of cells of a brand new person. This is God's miracle in our physical world. And the miracle in the spiritual world of the church is no less impressive. For you see, if you were to look at the church spread out through all of time, from everybody behind us to everybody right now to everybody who is still to come, we're talking again about trillions of people who are part of the body of Christ. The church is many. The church is one. 
Now, in our physical bodies, not all of the cells work together for the good of the whole body. <laughs> That's why we have things like cancer and, and neurological diseases and, and all of these things that can eventually kill a body. Well, in the spiritual world, we have the same thing happening where people will claim to be a part of the church and yet they act in ways that are contrary to the church. That's what Paul was getting at here in 1 Corinthians 12, that we cannot claim any kind of superiority or want to separate ourselves out from one another just because of a perceived difference. And yet we have cancers in the physical body, we have cancers in the spiritual body. And so we need to be as healthy individually, trusting in God and having a right understanding of what our faith is all about, so that collectively we remain in the right place, doing the right things at the right time time and therefore are part of this mysterious one body baptized by the one holy spirit in the lordship of jesus christ what is the church it's the collection of people who somehow transcend their differences to become one in christ it's that simple it's that here at the Goldston Methodist Church, we are seeking to be one body in Christ. We are striving to live into this idea of everybody belongs to everybody, that we are all indispensable one from the other. And you are welcome to come and be part of that indispensability. There's something missing here at Goldston Methodist, and it just might be you. So if you are able to be with us in person, we invite you to join us this Sunday at 10 a.m. for our Sunday School Faith Formation Opportunities and at 11 for worship. We meet at 185 Hillcrest Avenue in Goldston, North Carolina. We are right in the middle of Chatham County. It is a great little community full of great people and you would be a great addition to what God is doing here. If you can't be with us in person, then you're invited to join us online. We live stream our worship services on Facebook and we put the worships onto YouTube. And you are welcome to experience this time with us in a non-physical way, but still connected in a very profound spiritual way. But I hope that whatever you are doing, you are connected to a group of believers in a physical sense because I firmly believe that it is the in-person collection that makes us the best expression of the body of Christ. So for one last time, are you in church? And I'll see you on Monday for our next daily devotion.